Hey guys, what is going on? It is the Sportsmaster coming at you with another episode of Madden 15, Houston Texans franchise. In this video, we will be facing the Indianapolis Colts, led by Andrew Luck. So, it's going to be very interesting. Ryan Fitzpatrick shows two more games before he will be healed up. Case Keenum will be the starter for the Texans as we are going to be playing from NRG Stadium in Houston. Case Keenum had a great game last week as he threw three touchdown passes to no interceptions. Of course, the Giants enter this game 4-1 and one, with their only loss being to the Buffalo Bills. We are going to look to improve on that record Move to 5-1 and one. as you see Bill O'Brien and these Texans certainly exceeding expectations this year. But it looks like both special teams are on the field as it will be Trent Richardson back deep to return. Shane Leckler on for the kick. As we are underway here from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. Richardson will take this one out. Get to about the 20-yard line before he was stopped. And that will bring out Colts quarterback... And Drew Luck, you see Luck with 1,357 yards, three touchdowns, four interceptions, and a 61 point or 68.1 completion percentage. So, having an underwhelming season with three touchdowns and four interceptions, but always time to get that back as he now dumps it off to Trent Richardson. Richardson will fight up forward to the 28, third down and one, and Richardson will get the first down. Of course, opposing him will be a very strong Texans defense with guys such as J.J. Watt, who made the tackle there, Will Miraculous, and Jadavion Clowney. But that was a nice stop for the defense as here comes Case Keenum, who had about 240 yards, three touchdowns, and no interceptions. As you see now in second and four, a quick curl out to Andre Johnson will be a completion there. Now Keenum, under center, play action, and this one will be intercepted by the Colts. Is hit pretty hard there, but Stanford intersects this one. So a bad play there for Keenum, and he already has more interceptions than he did in the last game. Now Colts with good field position. Handoff on third and inches, and Trent Richardson gets it. And on third down and 11, Andrew Luck will get sacked. It's They're going to credit J.J. Watt also in on the play with Jadavion Clowney. We get the ball back. Third down and six. Throw is... A great one-handed catch there by Andre Johnson, but he'll be just short. So let on the punt, and, you know, I normally don't show punts, so that means something's going to happen here. So Trent Richardson shakes off that tackle, has open space. Leckler's the only one that can get to him in a bad angle there, trying to catch up. But Trent Richardson will take this one all the way. A great start bouncing off that tackle, but he will take it all the way for a touchdown. So just like that, the Colts are up 7-0. Keenum dropping back on 3rd and 9, and it is incomplete through the hands of the receiver. So now it's Colts ball looking to get, looking to build on this lead. 2nd and 2, the pass is completed for a first down. Look, 5 for 5 early on, and that's something that has been happening. These quarterbacks have been getting hot starts. As you see, Luck has a little bit of running room. Not much, though. Met after a gain of 5, so now on 2nd down of 5. Luck dropping back to pass. Luck completed to the tight end for a first down. Now on second down on two, they have crossed into Texans territory. Handoff to Trent Richardson. Richardson breaks off a couple of tackles and gets past the first down line. On first and ten, another handoff to Richardson. Richardson fighting his way forward and getting, no, they're going to call it a second down in inches. And as you see, J.J. Watt with a big stop there on second and in inches. Actually, Vic Ballard was running that ball. And on third and two, we get a big stop there. Clowney stops him. So a questionable call on second and inches, whether it was second and inches or first down, leads to a big stop. And as you see, Indianapolis misses that one. So it is still a one-possession game. Now handoff to Arian Foster. Foster fighting his way across the first down marker. Now Keenum dropping back to pass. Scrambling. He's going to take this one and run dives. And gets close to a first down. They'll mark him short. Second and inches. And unlike the Colts, we convert this one and get a lot more too. Arian Foster running his way into field goal position. Now with a minute and a half left to go to the half. Case Keenum driving back to pass. Throws it wide open. Ryan Griffin will get the pass as a completion. 
Which now in second and two. We were driving, trying to get a touchdown. Keenum dropping back to pass. Throws it. It will be caught. Andre Johnson having a great year so far. And it will be first down and goal. But now on third down and goal from the 10. 18 seconds left. Keenum dropping back to pass. Throws caught by Andre Johnson. But that will be short. And so we send on our field goal unit. Bullock is on for the kick. And it is good. And that is how halftime will end. So we will go into the half down 7-3. Both defenses, both defenses playing well as the Colts have no points from their offense. The only points for them was on that punt return. As you see on a screen on second and 11, Foster creating space. Juking got a guy and getting to about the 46-yard line. That'll be a gain of 20. Looking to drive here. Pitched Aaron Foster and who have space on the right side. Getting around the first down marker and they will mark him short. So another third and inches. Hand off to the fullback, Smelly, and he will get it for a first down. Now coming out in the eye, hand off Arian Foster. Foster getting some running room first down and more. Breaks a tackle and fights his way forward. A gain of about 15 there. Foster with some big runs now going for a screen. Gets it as he throws. It's going to be Antoine Brown, and Brown gets in for the touchdown. A great call there, and now we are up 10-7. to seven. Now Andrew Luck. He will get sacked. It's going to be Kendall Langford, the defensive tackle on the sack. Third and 14 now. Another sack. Three Texans there eventually get, goes down by J.J. Watt. So now on third down and two, Arian Foster has running room. Picks up a block, and then he could be off to the races here. Man misses, and touchdown Texans. A big run for Arian Foster. 43 yards, and the Texans are now up by two possessions. Another great third quarter for this Texan team that always performs well in the second half, especially the third quarter. But Vic Ballard running up the middle once again. Now Trent Richardson checks into the game. Luck, though, pass completed, jukes him out, and he will get a first down. Another conversion here. Luck, 8 for 9. Hasn't been passing that much, but Richardson fumbles, and it's going to be picked up. Reed forces the fumble and then just picks it up. What a play there. Getting us back into position, but as you see on third and nine, cannot complete the slant, or not the slant, the curl to DeAndre Hopkins. They will get the ball on third and 13. Look, dropping back to pass, gets hit as he throws. It looked like he had a man open if he could have hit him. But anyway, on fourth and 13. Another punt return being shown. Kicks it out, gets a block. Up to the 40, shakes a tackle and gets to the 37. So we're going to start this drive with the 37 of Indianapolis. Now at the 35 on second and eight. Wide receiver screen, a nice tackle there getting off the block. Now on third down and two, eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Hand off to Foster and Foster getting the first down. Foster with 121 yards on the ground. Foster, though, will get tackled for a loss there on third and 12. We will send our field goal unit back out. So Bullock with the kick. And it is good. So that will extend our lead to 20 to 7. It is now a two touchdown game. Now that pass will be caught. And it will be short, second and one. Andrew Luck dropping back pass. And this one will not be short. A completion there. So now on first and 10, Andrew Luck in this Colts offense. Looking to drive down the field in a big pass there. Getting to the Texan side of the field. Now on first and ten, Luck trying a hard count, but this defense won't jump. And Luck gets sacked once again. J.J. Watt, third sack of the game. What a season J.J. Watt is having as expected. And Watt again coming off the edge. Back-to-back -back sacks. And that's going to stop Indianapolis dead in their track and knock them out of field goal range. So now with under two minutes to go. Just trying to run this clock out. But they will get a stop. So now Andrew Luck and company looking for some sort of glimmer of hope. It might be a race there after Clowney comes off the edge and sacks him. On third and 11 from the nine. Another sack. Will that be a safety? No, they're just going to call him short at the one. So fourth and 18, no huddle. Last chance. And we blitz and we leave their tight end open. So they convert a miracle conversion. You normally don't see that. Now on another first and 10, still hope. And finds his man down the middle for another completion. Wait a fumble though. And Cushing falls on it. Somebody stripped him and Brian Cushing falls on it. This will be under booth review. But if it 
stands, then that is the game. As you see, fumbles it. It looked like his elbow might be down. We'll see, though. Is this going to be indisputable video evidence? Will the game end right here? What a play by this Texans defense if it does. But it looks like it won't. They will overrule it and give it to the Colts. So now they're at about midfield. A decent drive going on right now. Trying to get back into this game. Look, scrambling and finding a man going up the middle. And that will get inside the 25 as they hurry up. Under 30 seconds to go in this game. But they are driving. Andrew Luck throwing in another completion. He gets hit hard. Indianapolis takes a timeout. 20 seconds to go. First and 10. Throw to the back of the end zone. And it is caught. Touchdown Colts. And this might still be a game. They're going to have to recover the onside kick. So for the game, and we recover it. A big recovery there, and that is going to end the game. A great drive at the end, ending up going from 99 yards from that 4th and 18. But it is not to be, as we get the win and improve to 5-1. and one. We win this 20-14. to 14. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for all the latest news and updates. Check back on my channel for all the latest videos, more Madden, NBA 2K15, and MLB The Show to come. Check back at all these other videos that I have uploaded for more entertainment. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Feedback is always appreciated. And just have a great day, guys. You guys are amazing. Sportsmaster out. Peace.